Hey, another quick review here for another short Brandon Sanderson uh, short novella, short story thing. So in this one we'll be discussing White Sands. So, White Sands is... it's okay. Um, there's, there is some really good stuff about it, some interesting magic stuff and that sort of stuff, but the... and then there's some stuff which is just kind of... There's nothing bad about it, there's nothing uh, that I'm going to sit here and say is terrible, but I, it just felt like it was missing something. So let's jump into the good stuff quickly. Um, so good is the magic system is really cool. The idea of, you know, using sand and sand mastery and then like the different levels of it. And the little magic school sort of thing is very, the DM is just very, very briefly explained and discussed it. And it's kind of interesting and it's cool. And I like sand. I'm not Anakin Skywalker. Um, so what I mean is that I like sand as like a concept for, for ma magic. Because I don't know, really know if I've seen that before. And then specifically I also liked the little bit of um, what he did with the magic system where here we have a main character who's not technically that strong in a magic system. Or maybe they are, but they're not strong in a magic system in a way that is normal right and yet they they overcome that by being smart and intelligent and just like determined and that's an interesting idea because you know normally when you see uh, when we have main characters normally they're quite powerful in the magic system of whatever world that is because that makes sense for their character and it makes sense for how the world is structured right because they wouldn't be your main character if they weren't that powerful but yeah so this is an interesting change of pace so that's that's cool and yeah the magic system established is really interesting um we get with the idea and, and the way it's used you know because this whole book is well, the short story is basically just him using the magic system in different ways. So that's good. But the bad, though, is that I didn't really... I wasn't really very invested. Because, to me... Um, because our, our main character, his only trait is basically that he's just determined and he wants to spite his dad. And I'm, I'm like, it's fine. Like, it's, it's not bad. But it just, it just felt a little bit a little bit empty to me. So, so, so he's, a, he's a bit of a beast and he just wants to do this. And it's like, okay. But I didn't... He didn't it wasn't a page-turner for me, you know? Um, so I didn't really feel... Because I think he was trying to establish a little bit of character drama between the student and his dad... But I didn't really feel it. I, all all I felt was, you know, his dad's a bit of a dick and he doesn't like his dad. And, I, and you know, it wasn't it wasn't really enough for me. And so what I found is that when I was listening to this book, I would just go, go like listen to a YouTube video or some shit instead because I just never really was like compelled to come back, which is a bit unusual for Brandon Sanderson stuff. Because I mean, if, if you're reading Way of Kings, you are reading Way of Kings. You're not doing anything else, you know. Um, whereas I didn't really get that with this. I think maybe it's just he struggles a little bit with um, developing these characters quickly in short story format. Um, so yeah, I, I sort of felt. Um, not even bored, because bored's not the right word, because cool stuff was happening, I just didn't feel, like, compelled, you know, I wasn't like, I need to watch, the, uh, listen to this. Um, so yeah, like, like I said, if you, if you like Brand Sands and stuff, you're reading for Ars Arcanum, give it a, give it a listen or a read, uh, depending on the way you like your books. Um, and you, you won't hate it, uh, and you, you'll enjoy a bit of Brand Sands and magic and stuff, but, uh, but I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't expect to be blown away. So yeah, thanks for watching.